Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Escolenta Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Today we are going to talk about food canning. Canning process was introduced about two centuries ago and for a long time it has been one of the main means of food preservation together with chilling and freezing. The food canning history began in the late 18th century in France when Nicolas Appel discovered that the application of heat to food in a sealed glass container prevented food spoilage. Later, Peter Dernan developed a method of sealing food in tin containers. This idea was improved by Brian Dawkins and John Hall who installed the first commercial cannery in England. Some years later, Louis Pasteur gave a reasonable explanation for canning effectiveness when he demonstrated that microorganisms were responsible for food spoilage. Gradually, the production of canned foods became mechanized and the developments associated to food canning continue today. Canning is a method that sterilizes food by heat in airtight containers to achieve a commercially sterilized product which allows food to be stored at room temperature while maintaining food safety and organoleptic quality for months or even years. Can preserves food by heating food in a jar or a can and sealing with a vacuum that occurs when the container cools. Because there is no oxygen in the container, aerobic microorganisms cannot grow but any anaerobic microbes that survive the heating process can grow in this environment. Therefore, the heated time is designed to destroy any microorganism that could grow without oxygen. We discussed about heating time calculations in our previous videos. I will give those links in the description. There are two types of canning. They are in container sterilization or retort processing and out-of-container sterilization or aseptic processing. In container sterilized food, heats pack product in containers such as metal cans or glass jars using a retort process, such as steam, until the center of the product reaches protocol temperatures for sterilized product. Accordingly, both the package and product are sterilized together. Retort processing can be applied to all types of foods. Out of container sterilized food refers to separate sterilization of food and product and then packaging or filling and sealing under specific aseptic conditions. Aseptically processed food is limited to liquid foods. Beverages, dairy products, wine, sauces, and soups can be rapidly heated in thin films or as highly agitated fluids at pasteurization or sterilization temperatures. Then, aseptically packaged in foil laminate packages or pouches. The main objective of heat application is to destroy pathogenic and at the same time, the hermetic container prevents contamination by new microorganisms. Although the use of metal container is common, there are other alternatives as glass jars, plastic cans, and retorted pouches. In general, the sterilization process of can or packaged products can be subdivided into three phases. The heating phase, Holding paste and cooling paste. 
During the heating phase, water or steam is applied as the heating medium. The temperature of the product is increased from ambient temperature to the required temperature to achieve sterilization. The level of heat applied to a food depends on several factors. They are acidity of processed food, density, composition, resistance to heat transfer of food, heat resistance of microorganisms of interest in food, initial load of microorganisms, container, heated medium, equipment, and the process. The required temperature is then maintained for a certain period that is defined as the holding phase. During the cooling phase, a cooling medium is introduced such as air or water and the temperature of the product is decreased. Canned foods are cooled and then handled at room temperature, maintaining containing integrity and preventing recontamination of the product. The main advantages of food canning are long shelf life, no preservatives or few preservatives, great stability, can be stored at ambient temperature, also the low energy expenditure for storage. Also, there are some disadvantages of food canning. Several studies on the effect of canning have reported a decrease in total phenolic and flavonoid content mainly due to the leaching of phenolic compounds into the surrounding brine or syrup. The heating used to process canned food does change the color, texture and flavor of foods. To overcome these issues, there are some solutions. Salt may be added to canned vegetables or sugar to fruits to retain color and texture, but many consumers prefer the firmer texture and more intense flavor of frozen or fresh foods over canned foods and may want to avoid added salt or sugar. New technologies to reduce the amount of heat used to preserve food such as aseptic heating are being developed. Beverages, dairy products, sauces and soups kind of products rapidly heated in thin films or as highly agitated fluids at pasteurization or sterilization temperatures, then aseptically packaged in foil laminated packages or pouches. Ohmic heating and microwave assisted heating also are used to eliminate pathogenic bacteria and reduce the amount of heat damage to retain the quality of foods. Food canning can be used for fruits, vegetables, meat products, dairy products, wine sauces and soups, etc. Acid foods such as fruits and tomatoes naturally contain citric, malic, tartic and other organic acids that limit the growth of many pathogens are less of concern for food safety. But low acid foods such as meat, fish, mixed soup and vegetables provide a favorable environment for microorganisms and must be canned at higher temperatures. Time and temperature calculations for canning processes are designed to destroy the most heat resistant microorganisms, specifically the spores of Clostridium botulinum, which can produce a deadly toxin if they sprout and grow under the anaerobic conditions of canned foods. Acid foods pH less than 4.5 can be processed safely at 212 Fahrenheit, so 100 Celsius, the temperature of boiling water because Clostridium botulinum spores cannot grow in acidic conditions. Botulism is a paralytic illness caused by injection of toxin produced by Clostridium botulinum. Death results from muscle paralysis and respiratory failure. Clostridium botulinum spores are present in the soil and can contain contaminate fruits and vegetables. Spores will not 
germinate in the presence of oxygen or in acidic conditions but can germinate in sealed jars of low acid food such as asparagus, green beans, beet and corn. If not destroyed by temperatures above boiling achieved under pressure during the canning process. The food industry is highly regulated to ensure canned food are processed correctly to avoid these contaminations. So that this is the basic overview of food canning. We discussed thermal reduction time or D value as well as F value and Z value in our previous videos. Those are very important in food canning. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this and hope to catch you in next time.